What is going on guys? Nick here and welcome back to Enderall. Now last time we kind of scaled a very pretty mountainside, found mm -hmm. some runes. Oh god. Just puff. All right, Finn. We you. met Finn and now we're going to talk to him. Guardian himself. Uh yeah, kind of drunk Fever. I guess. <laughs> well, um <laughs> there could be many causes. There could be many Wait causes. A moment. I think I still have some grunt roots. Some grunt that should be enough to ease your pain, at least for now. Take a seat at the fire. The warmth might help you. Okay. Oh, Sit at the fire. <laughs> it's a very specific chair. Well, Weird. All right. Well, yeah, we met. Fever, we met Finn. There was that old and the so asshole guy. To help the afflicted. To Are they gonna do something to me? Thank you. Gruntrudes, Gruntrudes. What's uh, happening? Here we go. I hate this vision, by the way. <laughs> so are you, Davy. Is he gonna, like, teach me alchemy? So, let's see. Sheer cup, some water. Ha! Done. He's just mixing bullshit herbs. Promises, but... Finn, the still. Explosive. What the fuck is happening? What the hell is happening? Whoa. Oh, sod it. I really have to watch every step you take. What is happening? Hey, I'm sorry, all right. We'll pick up a new one in Ark. Ark. He's a pirate. <laughs> I'm convinced Finn's a pirate. This day isn't getting any better. Here, drink this. It'll help you. Alrighty. Um, yeah, See, drink the you already look a lot better. Still, you should let a priest take a look at that fever as soon as possible. The grunt root portion will wane in a few days. Alrighty. Yeah, what's what happening? You mean the still? Bad quality and too much heat, I'd wager. But yeah, whatever will be, will be. <laughs> okay. Uh, explosion. I'm not sure I follow. Uh, this is one of the scenes only I can see. Finn Dallarys died in 8234. Cause of death: exploding still. Ha ha. Look, ha, ha. I really don't know what you're talking about. Maybe. Wait a second. What was that? Uh, we're about to fight. Let's do it. I'm ready. I could have sworn I saw something moving over there. Oh shit! Oh, oh damn! Got shot in the neck. They, they've hit me, Finn. Those bastards! They've hit me. Like, shouldn't Finn be ducking? <laughs> I feel like he's in the open. Is he about to get hit too? Carbos, I do something, damn it. Just go. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that was cool. I will say I I don't know if you guys caught it, but like you blasted out of the chair. Mysterious survivor has awoken. What the hell? Yeah, who are you? Tumiel Delperic. Just bar for short. And you, my friend, are in my very own campsite. And before you ask, yes, the bandits killed both of the apothecary. The only reason you're still alive is that the impact of the explosion threw you right into a thicket. Luckily enough, most of your injuries are only superficial, and I've already taken care of them. Your fever, though, is an entirely different story. Yep, got a fever. So yeah, were you there? And no, I didn't help for two reasons. One, I was outnumbered like crazy. And two, I'm in a happy relationship with my entrails. Uh -huh -huh -huh. I wish I had a <laughs> answer for you, but I don't. Sorry. I guess that's fair. Yeah, what yeah, do you know about the fever? Quite a lot, actually. You're suffering from first degree arcanist's fever. I'm quite surprised that the old apothecarius didn't see that, to be honest. You're suddenly capable of doing things you previously knew only from the bard songs, right? And you're feeling unusually strong and dizzy at the same time. While drinking herbal potions leaves a, well, 
kind of a, a bitter feeling in your head? Uh, yeah. I have all those yep. symptoms, Doc. Your magical talent has broken free inside you. <laughs> this is such a weird explanation for this. Together with enough arcanists and other signs. Simply put, what's happening is that your body can't cope with magic. This isn't much of a problem at first, but if you don't do anything about it within the next couple of months, you'll find yourself running through the heartland naked, throwing fireballs at everything that moves. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> Can we trade it? Yes, of course. Though someone who's magically gifted will always react differently to certain situations than someone who isn't. As I said, some herbs will always worsen your fever, as will magically contaminated areas. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> the knowledge ones always give XP, so we need to do that. Among other things, yes. Just as being magically gifted can make a person powerful, it can also make them sensitive and prone to certain conditions. Just don't overdo it sleeping in ruins or in the wilderness. Instead, set up a camp somewhere. Plus, as you've already said yourself, don't overdo it with potions. Okay. Gather knowledge. Yeah, what oh, grunt root? No, that won't help you in the long run. What you need is ambrosia, a special mixture of herbs that can remedy the fever without any side effects. Every good okay. alchemist has that in stock, but it'll cost you. Visions? Yeah, I got visions, dog. Uh, let's I call them. I have these kind of premonitions of things that are about to happen. Let's have a side effect. Are they also side effects? No. Well, yeah. none that I know. No, nope, I'm that's my I'm special dragonborn shit. Those that come along with a good pipe of peace weed. Wow. You know what? Someone has to take care of your fever. And as it happens, I know someone who could. Of course. <laughs> I want you to tell me everything. How did you get here? What did you do in that temple? And what exactly did you see in those visions? Okay. I can't put my finger on it, but there's something strange about you. And that makes me curious. So, Healing for information. What do you say? Oh, that's fair. <sighs> then shoot. I'm eager to listen. Okay, I was about to say, is it gonna actually have me tell him the entire thing? But no, this is gonna... Hmm. Apparently it took all night. My condolences for your loss. So that means you somehow survived this execution. And before you got washed ashore, you had this... What? This dream? in which you saw burnt bodies and a blinding light. Yep. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> I hope so. So your magical outburst didn't happen slowly as it usually does, but all of a sudden after this near-death experience, and with it came these visions. Sure. Interesting. <laughs> I guess you know how absurd all this must sound, but somehow I believe you. Heck knows why, but I do. So. That means I'll introduce you to my employer. If anyone can help you, it's him. There okay. is, however, one thing with which I could use a hand. The sooner we get that done, the sooner we can start our journey to Ark. Uh... Yeah, Ark, what's Ark? The capital of this country. Ow. Walls high as towers of iron hard stone, rest alone in the mountains in granite enthroned, never decaying, the ages surveying, guarded by the Lord, and blah 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 blah, and so on and so forth. If you plan on staying in this land, sooner or later you'll see it with your own eyes. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go. Splendid. There are some things that need some explanation before we can get started, however. Uh, oh my god, I'm talking so much. <laughs> noticed that in the past two and a half years this world has fallen into political chaos right I Civil guess wars usurpers every before while you talk I've been thinking about it and I want to give bows a shot so I'd like to equip all this stuff uh, you... there we go and even though Enderall isn't directly affected by these okay. wars going on still same buttons there are strange <laughs> things happening here too take the woods ears for example there have been an unusual number of reports of wanderers being attacked by them in the open. Which has never happened before. And the same goes for the lost ones, the, the living dead. Until two years ago, they were a rather rare magical phenomenon. But now every other corpse not properly cremated starts walking again as if it were the most natural thing to do. 
The strangest thing well. about <laughs> is what they call the red madness. I'm gonna check out your boots. Uh, do you think this chaos could be in any way related to the rumors about the Lightborn's death? Uh, I mean that's obvious. That's yes. So let's just go with the red madness. Yeah, it's some kind of mental illness that makes people lose their minds. Just a couple of weeks ago, for instance, there was a smith in Ark who slaughtered his entire family. Damn. He was drunk, but that doesn't explain why he screamed things like "Fear the light" while he was doing it. Or a young noblewoman who killed herself by setting her family estate on fire for no apparent reason. Now, you might say that these kinds of things happen, but by now there have been more than a dozen of them. That and the fact that the possessed's eyes glow red shortly before and during their deed has made people call it the Red Madness. And just three days ago, <laughs> it again. And Vietnam. Only this time it was a magister from within the Holy Order itself. Damn. Right, you're not from here. A magister is a kind of sage from the Holy Order who teaches the young novices who are aspiring to become keepers or arcanists. Yarrow was his name, a man who had more than 60 winners on his back. Damn. He killed 15 novices and himself. Damn. According to the he went all Anakin on him. He entered the teaching room as usual to give a lecture on alchemy. But instead, he gave a strange speech in which he explained that humanity is corrupt, void as he put it. And his eyes started glowing, he locked the door, and... Well, he tore himself apart with a magical explosion. You can imagine the kind of uproar that caused. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, what's your role, sir? Well, I'm not exactly one for vows and austerity, so no, I'm no keeper. I guess you could say my specialty is recovering things that have been lost. Treasures, He's tones, a treasure hunter. memories, Great. and the like. <laughs> And the Order hired me to do exactly that. They want to know how a highly intelligent man like Yarrow could fall victim to the Red Madness. And also, if there's a discernible pattern to how this malady, or whatever it is, chooses its victims. Okay. Let's do it. True, but that's irrelevant. Yarrow grew up in a small village named Riverville, which isn't far from here. And according to some of the other wardens, he visited this area quite often after his partner's death. So it's quite possible we could find some clues around here. Shards of his past, if you like. I've already searched most of the area, but a second pair of eyes wouldn't hurt. What do you think? Yes, let's just go do something. Well, for starters, I needed to travel to Riverville and talk to an old man named Alfred. He was a childhood friend of Yarrow's, and he might be able to tell us something worthwhile. Okay. Secondly, a boy from the village told me that he saw Yarrow throw something into the water near a cliff to the east. Go there and see if you can find whatever it was he wanted to get rid of. I myself will have a look at the house Yarrow grew up in. Here, this is a map of the region. The blue dot over here is Yarrow's old house. Uh, and at the risk of sounding heartless, you should head back to the apothecary's camp. Maybe the bandits left behind some equipment. Uh, that's fair. If there's nothing else, I'd say off we go. Let's shed some light on this Yarrow and his motivations. Meet me at his old house when you're ready. I'll be waiting there. Okay. Oh, what is this? If a quest objective is marked by one or more stars, they indicate the difficulty of said quest and at the same time the level you should have. Okay. Cool. Oh, so it shows up in the pop-up. Okay, so everything everything is pretty much fine. Wow, this is a very large area. Is this even the entire area? I'm assuming so. Yeah, there's Ark. Okay. It's not too crazy. It's manageable. Alright, we got resting place. Talk with the arrow. So let's. How do you place a marker? Can we not? Uh. Yeah, set destination. It won't let me for some reason. Alright, well, we'll just go to it. Well, so it's that way. Is there anything over. There's something over there, too. I kind of want to go check this out. Like, we might as well. Oh, it's him singing. That creeped me out. Alright, yeah, let's go check this out. Oh, what the fuck? Where? Whoa, whoa! Uh, hold on. I need to... I can still do that. Okay, cool. Let's do that, that, that. Just 
double fist it. Fuck it. <laughs> okay. So wait, so when I have this out, do I also have fire? Yeah, okay. So you didn't drop anything. We'll go ahead and heal up. Come on. <laughs> so it's... I mean, obviously it's more balanced this way. Oh, I forgot that raises fever. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? Okay, that was funny to watch that deer thing get... Or guys, it's a goat, yeah. <laughs> Definitely not a deer. But, uh... Yo. Yo, what? I'm just gonna run. <laughs> Fuck it. Pick flowers on the way. I'm guessing this isn't the cliffs they're talking about? No. It's very pretty. Catch butterflies. Get him. Thank you. Alright. Let's just let's go explore something. Go out this way. Oh, can I get back up? Hmm. Let me go back here and see if there's a path. Uh, yeah, there is. Okay. I'd like to go explore this. Because I, I will mostly do the main quest, but I just want to see kind of how exploring goes. What the? Oh, that's a spider. What was... Well, that's not what I want to do. Shit. I got him. Oh, God. Yo, stop that shit. Oh, nope. Light him on fire. Light him on fire, I said. Damn, bitch. There we go. <laughs> I love the physics in this game. They're so dumb. Alright, we'll take the arrows out of them. I'm glad that's still a thing where you get your arrows back. Alright, let's go back. Well, I can't remember... Oh, that's what it is. You hold that. Okay. Is there anything cool over here? I feel like there should be. Take some spider eggs. Nothing here. Uh, I want to know what this... Ta it looks like a lighthouse. I want to go to the lighthouse, damn it. Oh shit. Oh shit. God, he has some buggy eyes. What the hell? Get out of here, creeps. Shit. Oh god, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just pick him up and stab him in the face. Alright. Let's go ahead and. I can't remember what meditation does. Let me go take a look real quick. Take to unlock new memories and thus miss, thus make yourself stronger. Can I just do that? Whoa. I guess so. I hope this didn't teleport me somewhere. It did. God damn it. Oh, this is one of those things where... Oh, this is the talent trees, it looks like. Infiltrator... Infiltrator. What is this one? Expert locksmith? Oh, this is a trickster. Sword of the Wind. Focus. Oh, this is magic. And then this is being a warrior. Yeah. I think I might go this way. This memory unlocks all rogue disciplines for you. Your stamina. Oh, this is what the memory points are for. How many memory points do I have? Two. Okay. Um. Yeah, like I feel like this is probably the way I want to go. Although the magic's cool, but the mana regen's awful. Let's see. What was this one? 
So the memory unlock all mage disciplines for you. You also receive a permanent boosted mana regeneration as well as a talent focus, which lowers the mana cost for all spells by 33% for a short period of time. Okay. We'll go magic you. Do that. Okay, I learned focus, which I should almost certainly favorite. Oh. I do want you on there. Okay. What was this one? So let's see. Memories of the Thaumaturge. <laughs> Enhances your light and mental magic. So they're fourteen percent more effective. I'm assuming that's the healing and then some some other stuff. Entropy and psionic spells. Okay. Interesting. And arcane, all elemental spells do more damage. Um You know, I think for now let's go we'll grab the the more effective spells. Yeah. Oh. There's some German on the screen. What the hell? What's happening? I think I'm a little bugged right now. Hmm. Where are my hands? What is happening? <laughs> I'm invisible right now. All right, let's let's get out of here. Hopefully the load, um, you know, <laughs> fixes the whole I don't have a body thing. Yeah, that's weird. When I put that point in it, like took my cursor out of the game and I clicked back in and my dude's invisible. A little weird. Hopefully don't have to reload. <laughs> That'd be awkward. Okay, my hands are back. Beautiful. Alright, let's see how much more effective this is now. Okay, so you're back up to like base Skyrim healing. Okay. Oh, the mana regen's so much faster. Okay, well let's... I want to get this damn lighthouse. Oh, it's not a lighthouse. It's wherever that is. Let's go to it. Fuck it. I should be able to get up, right? Yeah. Let's jump down here. Grab Ice Claw. Looks like I can go here. Mud Crab! Fucking fight, bitch. <laughs> he turned around. I was like, I don't want any of this shit. I'll take the arrow. That's kind of cool that it bounces off of him because it's a crab. It's hard to pierce a crab. Oh, we got some some blood over here. I will go check that other stuff out, but I want to see what the blood leads to. Let's get to full health. Oh, not what I wanted. That, okay. Have I been here? What the fuck? Wait, is that an actual troll? Oh, it is. Oh, great. I am probably not equipped for this. Okay. Just kite. Kite. Oh, Jesus. Okay, if I remember correctly, fire is super good against them. Yo, yo, stop it. Cut you in the face. Ah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Alright, alright, alright. Lit him on fire. Go in. Oh, Jesus. Cut him in the teeth. <laughs> Alright. Well, we got a cave troll. That was <laughs> scary. We did get... It looks like... Some loot? Blueprint for an iron dagger, a chisel, some coal, and a lantern. Alright, well, we have so much carry weight that I'm not really going to worry about... Um... Like, leaving shit because it's like you can just basically carry everything <laughs> so that's good all right let's go explore this oh another mud crab get out of here 
Did I hit? Oh, yeah, okay. Hit <laughs> him in the face, poor guy. Oh, I'm so sorry, little crab. Okay. Let's, uh. I need to stop. I think I should stop using the heal. Because it does. Um. Oh, what is this? Apprentice Book Light Magic. Yes. Okay. Um. But I should be eating stuff. Because of the magic, it makes me have more fever. And what is it at right now, by the way? 25%. Okay. Good to know. Oh shit, what happened to you? No. Oh god, she's alive! I tried to loot her. Take her. Away with you. Uh, what? You will not have her. Elfried stays with me. And drop the disguise already. I know a god of death when I see one. Uh, that's not... I'm not one, what? I don't think. <laughs> I could be. <laughs> We're not really sure what's happening to me. What up, ma'am? Yo. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I had a nightmare. <laughs> Her anyway, mouth. Uh, who are you? I wasn't expecting to meet anyone else out here. Save for the bandits, that is. Uh, well, yeah, long story. Definitely a long story. Yeah, what are you no, doing out I'm here? Not. This ruin over there. You know, I'm a merchant, and my specialties are all kinds of things with historical background. The things you usually find in ruins. Of course, I'm usually not stupid enough to go looking for them myself. But there was this traveler from Ark who told me about this place. The Three River Watch. And he said that it's hardly guarded. Well, okay. since I was in the area anyway, I thought it wouldn't hurt to take a look. Great idea, really. Look, I know we just met, but truth be told, I really got myself into some trouble here. And you, you look as if you know how to defend yourself. Something terrible happened, and I simply don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> you seem so upset. <laughs> yeah, who's yes, Elfried? My Elfried. She was kidnapped. By the stars, I was so stupid. We were just about to make camp for the night, and I went to search for some firewood. And then... Just like that, she's gone. Is it, yeah, it was a bandit? No, a vetir. I heard him grunting, you know. He lives in that damned ruin. I tried to sneak in, but it's impossible. And I can't go back to Riverville for help either. That would take way too long. Please, you have to help me. If anything happens to Elfred, I would never forgive myself. Uh, yeah, all right, I'll go do it. Ancient fathers, thank you, and hurry. Hey, you calm down. Oh, what's this? You said you had some kind of stock with you, didn't you? What? Let's trade. Oh, yes, sure. Hell yeah, Lane. Oh my god, you have a lot of shit. Oh, so you can just buy books of learning? Yeah, apparently. Huh, interesting. Uh, let me... Let me sell some shit. Amethyst, uh, lantern. Oh, I didn't realize I had this. Absorbs three points of health from the target. That's actually really nice. That's a better way of healing. Ooh, it's light magic. Okay, that doesn't sound like it'd be light magic, but <laughs> I'll take it. Ambrosia. I should actually probably take one of those as well. Uh, here, you can have my clothing. Uh, yeah, because I don't want to go heavy armor if I'm going to be... Yeah, we'll go like that. You can have my knife. Okay, let's... What do you have to sell? So you have all these books. Any, like... You know... Spells? Tales of the Wanderer, some scrolls, no spells. Hmm. I mean, I'm assuming these books would be completely worth it. I just don't know which ones I'd want necessarily for. I guess light magic would be really nice. 
Let me see how many learning points I have. Walk yep, yep, walk thingy. I have four learning points, wow. And then I have three craftsman ones. Which I'd like to do lock picking alchemy, I'm guessing. Or rhetoric. Yeah, rhetoric would be nice. Then stay safe. Okay. What? Let me barter what? with you. Oh, yes, sure. What? 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 what, what, what? <laughs> yeah, let's go. One light magic. Oh, we don't have that much gold. All right, we'll take in the one light magic. Fuck it. Walk See blessed. you, ma'am. Yes, yes. Walk blessed. Okay, cool. And then this one. New spell learned. Sweet. Okay, let's Six. immediately put that on. Which is which one? This one, life absorption. Yeah, favorite that bad boy. And start moving. So I think we make that one three, and we'll do the bows five. I'm gonna just use the bow as kind of like an initiator. Cause it's always nice to get that nice little crit bonus at the beginning. Also, I want to pick up all these damn mushrooms, but you can't. You just can't. What the hell happened to this guy? I'll take your dagger. Poison of woe and a torch. Some wine. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> all right, yeah. Let's go. Let's go save this lady's daughter. Actually, mm, you know, what? I think this is a perfect place to stop. We'll go save Elfridge next episode and you know have fun hopefully learn some new magic try out life absorption i'm hoping that doesn't raise raise sickness but it might who knows but regardless thank you guys for watching and i will hopefully see you next time see you guys